my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the middle of the month love readings this is going to be for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising and Venus how are you Sagittarius I hope you guys are doing I hope you guys are doing amazing if you're not I hope it gets better anyways let's get into your reading let's see exactly what's going on here whoa let's see exactly what's going on in regards to your love and romance I know Sagittarians have been going through it, right? A lot of transformative energy and transformation is not always easy. Transformation is usually coming with challenges because we need to rise to the occasion. So let's see what's going on with you guys in regards to love. One more. Thank you, Spirit. All right, let's get into it. Sagittarius. Oh, fuck. I spoke too soon. <laughs> Actually, no, I spoke facts. We have the Nine of Swords, and the Nine of Swords is the energy that you're currently taking on. Nine of Swords is feeling very restricted. I feel that a lot of you guys are feeling a bit lost. Um, I feel that for some of you guys, you're feeling like you feel lost because there are certain decisions that you need to make that perhaps you feel like you're not ready to make just yet. Uh, Nine of Swords also speaks about anxiousness, uh, depression, uh, having trouble sleeping. Um, and I feel that it's not just in love. I'm sensing very heavily like you may be experiencing like chaos in, in different aspects of your life right now. Now, the person of your interest is the star card. Interesting. Very interesting. So the star card represents Aquarius doesn't have to be an Aquarius. Um, the star card is illuminating and it's looking towards the nine of swords. So I fear for some of you guys that you're going to meet a person. That's if you haven't already met a person that comes into your life when there's a lot of chaos, when there is a lot of change that is happening around you. And I feel that for, and the reason why I say I fear is because I feel like other responsibilities around your life is not going to fully help you in embracing this energy only because you're distracted with what's not working for you right now in your life. The star card is being able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. This is hope. Uh, this is a person that may be spiritually connected to spirit or source this could be a person that is transformative. So I fear, I fear, I keep saying fear. I don't know why. For some of you guys, it could be that you're experiencing a lot of fears. And that's the reason why you don't want to make choices because you don't want to make the wrong choice. But with the nine of swords, I feel very heavily like, I fear, not fear, I feel. Why do I keep saying fear? I feel very strongly that you guys are very much in your head. Um, it's like you go from the nine of swords to the star card and the knight uh, of swords is very dark uh, depression anxiety stress worries the star card is the combustion of those suppressed feelings and being renewed being transformed the stars or the planets being aligned for you to introduce to you or bring to you a person that is going to heal you, that is going to bring peace to you. But I feel that you guys are not seeing that because you're consumed with your current situation. So for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a situation where you're stuck in a relationship that is very stagnant, very toxic. Um, there is like a fear of pulling away. Should I walk away from this connection? Should I keep trying? Should I, you know, learn to put myself first and walk away from this? And then the star shows up. And this is the card that is representing the person that's coming in or the person that you may be already dealing with. And the star is, again, like I said, it's the planet alignments. This is hope. This is renewed energy. This is the clearing of that stagnant energy to fully embrace your potential, but you're not looking at that. So again, I feel that you guys are very distracted right now. Uh, the hermit card. Yeah. So this is the card that represents um, the relationship itself. And the hermit is your spirit guides. 
The hermit is your archangels being around you, trying to guide you. You see how the star card is, you know, looking towards you, looking towards the nine of swords. And it's like here trying to replenish you, trying to feed your soul because there's something that's lacking in your soul. It's almost like if you're dealing with the person from the past and you're not sure if you should walk away, it's like they are literally like sucking the life out of you. And then the star shows up. Uh, this is spirit. This is, uh, like I said, renewed energy. This is hope. And it's like they're trying to guide you to this renewed energy. They're trying to show you that you deserve better. The hermit here, again, trying to light your path, trying to light um, get your attention to walk towards a better beginning, to walk towards a better life um, as a representation of the relationship itself. For some of you guys, this could be a soul type of connection that's coming in and you're not fully embracing it or not seeing it because you're so focused or consumed with what's currently happening in your life. Now, the advice card here is the moon card. So you guys have a lot of, we have the star, we have the moon, the hermit, also the moon. So I feel that you guys are going into a cycle where by, for some of you guys, by this full moon that's coming, there's going to be this aha moment or there's going to be this acknowledgement of my life cannot continue this way and I need to be fearless in making des decisions and choices and moving towards a better beginning or moving towards a better life. Um, the moon card also represents with the star here. The moon is darkness, right? Confusion. It's not being able to see right because you're so consumed with the nine of swords. You're so focused in your problems, what's not working right now. The star card is showing up. It's illuminating the fogginess, the confusionness of the moon card. This is also aligning itself and bringing to you a different life, a life with purpose. This is finding purpose. This is combining your path towards someone that is much better suited for you or that is, there's a predestined contract here. So again, soul type of connection is coming through very strongly. And the likely outcome of this connection is the alchemist. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I feel like you haven't for some of you guys, if within the past, I want to say three, four months, you met this person, um, you already know who they're talking about because I feel like the moment you started to embrace other aspects of your life started going haywire. Like you were being pulled towards different directions. It, it, something about like life started becoming more complicated the moment this person came in. And it's not them itself, but I feel like other things are trying to distract you because you've been in this energy of the Nine of Swords for a very long time. But the alchemist is a representation of a full manifestation. The alchemist with the star and the moon and the hermit card, these are very spiritual cards, you guys. So I feel that for a lot of you guys, you're meeting your soulmate or you have already met your soulmate. Um, it could have been almost like a feeling of uh, things didn't really grow or move forward in a positive aspect only because you were being pulled towards different directions or you were being distracted. For some of you guys, you could be dealing with a very toxic connection or very toxic relationship. And what spirit is trying to guide you towards is a new path. They're trying to help you and assist you um, to walk towards a better, uh, not only a better connection, but a connection that is going to help you feed your soul or find your purpose. And I feel that for some of you guys, you maybe feel, if you're feeling lost right now, if you're feeling like you don't know what it is that you want out of life, or if you're feeling like you're still in search of a higher meaning, I feel that this person that's coming in is going to feed that side to you. It's going to feed what your soul is needing because this is a very, these are very spiritual cards, you guys. So again, I feel that there is a higher purpose of why you're meeting this person. Let's see what the Oracle love cards have for you in regards to this situation or this connection that you're going to be dealing with for the rest of April, beginning of May. Shyness. 
encourage taking it slow. For some of you guys, I feel like this person is going to be very, very the opposite of what you're used to. Um, I don't necessarily feel like they're shy. I feel that they're very reserved. Um, this could be a person that is very methodical to the people that they allow in their lives. So I feel that you're definitely going to be very pulled towards them because they're very different from what you're used to. And I'm getting like very spiritual vibes here. So I feel that um, this person could come off as shy, but in reality, they just don't put themselves out there like that because they're very careful about their energy. And I feel that for some of you guys, um, you may be the one that feels a bit shy or reserved. Like they're going to shake you in a sense like this is a connection that perhaps you've never experienced or never felt in the past that it's going to get you tongue tied. It's going to make you feel like you don't know how to make the first move or how to interact with them because their energy is coming on very strong. Um, but it's a good thing because it means that it's like you, you guys are being pulled towards each other like magnets, but you need to work on aligning yourself. So that could be the reason why you feel a bit intimidated or you feel like this person could be a challenge. Um, not in a negative aspect, but because you, there's like some type of like admiration or respect that you're going to be feeling towards this person. Um, so again, my advice is getting yourself out of the nine of swords goes towards the 10 of swords. There's a conclusion, an ending cycle. There is something about your life that has needed a uh, major change and transformation in order to get you into alignment to what your true purpose is. And I feel that if you're still going through that or those changes, be patient with it, Sagittarius. However, I feel that this person is going to be coming in when life is very complicated for you. But the reason for that is because they're preparing you. Uh, they're going to be helping you in aligning yourself to your true calling, to your true purpose, to your true love. So I wish you guys the very best. I hope that this gives you some type of insight and we'll be seeing each other soon. Till then, bye.